Rehabilitation is a process that's widely applied in the National Health Service to help people um, who have had injuries to recover properly, to help people who have chronic conditions, to maximise their quality of life. Rehabilitation is a multidisciplinary process. It involves working between surgeons, medics, physiotherapists, occupational therapists, sometimes speech therapists. It really just depends on what the condition is and, and what the type of difficulties that people are facing in their everyday lives. I moved to Britain specifically to work on this project. What attracted me was the reputation of Oxford University and the Clinical Trials Unit. They're known as one of the best clinical trials units internationally. Uh, and it's an exciting opportunity to be able to work with a team with such a reputation. So the Biomedical Research Unit is funded by the National Institute of Health Research and it's a very substantial amount of research funding and it's used to underpin the infrastructure that's required to translate emerging treatments into clinical practice. BOOST is a physiotherapy based intervention for older people with spinal trouble. So this is a condition that causes them a lot of pain and mobility issues. Uh, often they can be a little bit of a forgotten group. So what we're interested in with the BOOST program is we think that a physiotherapy intervention may actually help improve their symptoms, their mobility, their quality of life. Sprained is a study that is synthesising a prognostic tool for ankle injuries in emergency department. And by a prognostic tool, what I mean is simply a set of questions that can predict your outcome in nine months. We can capture patients when they come into clinic and follow them up nine months down the line and see what their recovery is like. And then figure out what questions will predict patients who recover well and those who wouldn't. It gives you a score right there and then and it just makes your decision making a lot quicker than it would have been without the tool. It can be very frustrating as a medical researcher to be making new discoveries and uh, for those not to be really taken up into the NHS, uh, certainly for long time periods and I think that the work of the BRU to really try and speed up this process of translation is really important. I think really at the heart of it is patient need. To actually see that patient now go from um, um, walking up the stairs, holding the rail, to going up the stairs without even thinking about it, that gives you a lot of um, inspiration to carry on because you know you're, you are helping patients one on one. So that is it's a whole lot of fun, I could say. What gets me out of bed in the morning is knowing that the work that I do delivers a clear answer to NHS commissioners, NHS clinicians, patients, carers and their families about whether treatments are effective or not. And I think that's really important and I see the work that we do as a team being used in places like the NICE clinical guidance. I see it being used in international guidance, military guideline groups all over the world to help ensure that their patient groups receive the most effective treatments and the most cost-effective treatments that they can deliver.